Um, and this is the M57 five cylinder twin turbo diesel compound. Yeah. Diesel. So it makes about 500, I think, stock. And, and um, torque, what would you say? Around the same. Around the same. Yeah. Yeah. So and what did this come with from the factory? 100 horsepower. 100 horsepower. <laughs> it seems like anything that comes here has like either 100 or 200 horsepower, <laughs> and then when it leaves here, it's like 700. <laughs> So this was a Turkish ambulance. Yeah, so a lot of these trucks went after the war sat on ambulances as like insurance reasons. Okay. You know, they, they yeah. had them on there for like if crashes or something happened. Oh, EMW. So, yeah. so she needs a little bit of a cleaning, but she's been out and about. You know, and uh, yeah, so this is one of Jordan Miller's Franken, Franken thoughts. How bad was this to figure out how to make work? This one wasn't as fun. I can imagine. It, it's a lot. It, it, it's a lot of bit of tweaking, but it, it works and it works really well. And is it automatic or manual? It's an automatic. Okay. This is a six speed uh, BMW based transmission. Um, and this is the M57 five cylinder twin turbo diesel compound. Yeah. Diesel. So it makes about 500, I think, stock. And, and um, torque, what would you say? Around the same. Around the same. Yeah. Yeah. So and what did this come with from the factory? 100 horsepower. 100 horsepower. <laughs> It seems like anything that comes here has like either 100 or 200 horsepower, and then when it leaves here, it's like 700. You know, like nothing, nothing leaves here small horsepower. Uh, not that we're always trying to do that, but that's just, you know, most people are looking for the power to do what they want. This is amazing. So, uh, yeah, so this is its truck, as the gentleman sent us. Um, oh, look at that. Look at the interior of this. <laughs> So it was set up somewhat like this. These fold down to be in a, a complete bed. Um, yeah. So it's kind of a halfway there overland. Uh, I we we love just this. wanted to mess with all the, the mechanicals, you know. How many miles would you say you put on this with the diesel so far? It's been pretty, like, all the hiccups and all that? Yeah, for the most part, this thing's yeah. been flawless too. Um, I, I'd probably say this truck has got a little over maybe just under a thousand. Okay. You know, we. Most of the kits and stuff that we do here, all of our LS, like before we even started to release the LS, yeah. uh, Jordan put one in his truck and we did 15,000 miles on it before we even started to offer it to customers. So most of our kits and stuff like that we're gonna do, like that's why that we still have the LR4 right now. It's a customer's truck, yeah. but we're putting miles on it. Yeah. One, to make sure everything's 100%, and two, yeah. we just wanna make sure that longevity wise, yeah. it's what we th we're telling people. Yeah. So uh, yeah, so this one's got about a thousand. Um, and then I don't know if we'll offer this as a, a, an option for everybody. Uh, this is the, kind of like a one-off. Yeah, the motors yeah. are not the easiest to find. I bet. So you're going to have to do a bit of soul searching to find them. I'm not going to say you can't. Yeah. But, you know, it, it takes a bit. Um, it makes this truck rip. You can load up eight buddies and it doesn't care. So it's pretty fun. Um, but, yeah, it's just... Now it's the world's fastest Turkish ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> yeah. That's incredible. There's a lot of that around here. Yeah, I love how you just take a, something completely random but also sticks another engine that's completely random yeah. and make it work a lot of that like that's your specialty isn't yeah, it yeah franken stuff franken stuff yeah but it's not franken done you know we get the ability to do like will this work will this not work so we do a lot of that um but at the end of the day everything's done as, as factory as we can get it to be you know or, or using factory stuff so everything our biggest thing is i don't want you to have to go buy tubes and cut yeah. up all this stuff if you're in a problem you know you have a problem you can go to the bmw place and buy the piping for a three you know for that m57 so that's a biggest thing that we try to always do is that all of our swaps i try to use as much factory or use like gm and our ls swaps all gm so yeah if you have a problem go to napa yeah you know you're never you're never breaking down in the most convenient places you're breaking down in the worst places so i try to make the trucks as easiest to find the parts and not have to have like oh this broke and it was all custom like that sucks that's what separates you from trying yeah trying i love that know? so well thank you for it it's easy on the customer to yeah. be able to use these trucks and if there is an issue which parts are going to fail i mean yeah. you know i don't make them i only put them together yeah. so stuff is going to fail occasionally but i want to make it as easy on the customer or be able to find my customer what he needs to get back on the road so yeah. this is this is amazing thank you for showing no, me this you're more than welcome buddy so that other truck has a cummings in it <laughs> what this one up here yeah i can show you that one i why not yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I like how this goes from 100 horsepower to 500. <laughs> uh, let me get keys for this one. <laughs> <laughs> 